today is Wednesday and uh, this weekend is the first ASA of the year all the way down in Foley, Alabama, the southern tip of Alabama right on the ocean. Um, but anyways, we're leaving tonight. Uh, this year I kind of decided that I probably am going to go to every ASA. Um, so this is the first one. I've been to Foley two years ago. It was a fun time. Uh, but with that said, literally last weekend was the last indoor shoot of the year and pretty much the only indoor shoot of the year. So I had to swap bows real fast and I'm out here getting a sight tape real quick, uh, but it should be good. I just checked my 20 again. We're going to throw a sight tape on here and, and uh, run it, I guess. See how it goes. First ASA of the year. ASA Archery is an event that happens about once a month throughout the summer and the first one being in Foley, Alabama. Super early, super early shoot for being in February. Um, so a lot of us northerners um, kind of figure out how to shoot through the snow and everything. Proceed to West Beach Boulevard, then turn left. The barrier of entry into shooting in ASA is actually super, super low. You see all the professionals, you see everyone shooting, but there are so many different divisions shooting that you can come and shoot in the ASA. You can shoot bow hunter, you can shoot close targets, you can actually shoot unknown distance, you can shoot known distance. So there's thousands of people that shoot every single time and there's such a big, friendly environment around it uh, that I feel like a lot of people don't know about. Welcome everyone. Day one, first ASA of the year down in Foley, Alabama. Uh, it's super humid, foggy, and a little bit rainy this morning, um, which is all right as long as it doesn't rain too bad. Um, but we're heading to the course right now. We just practice a little bit. And uh, day one, Let's see how it goes. <laughs> big thank you to Lancaster Archery for actually sponsoring this video and we share a lot of the same values and missions when it comes to getting new people into archery and ASA is a great way to get more involved in the sport of archery. Day one right out of the gate I had like three or four problems that I was dealing with. My sight tape was a yard off, uh, my fiber situation was a little bigger than I wanted so Pretty much the entire day was just a struggle to try to figure that out. At these type of tournaments, it's not a heavy arrow tournament, so you're not shooting like hundreds of arrows. You're literally shooting 20 arrows Friday and 20 arrows Saturday, and that determines it. So every arrow has so much value behind it, instead of like an outdoor tournament or indoor tournament where you literally have hundreds of arrows to determine the final outcome. So about halfway through the first day, I started to get a little bit of roll and uh, figuring out, figured out that I just had to cut a full yard. So if I range 49 yards, I set it at 48 yards. And uh, that was just straight up unpreparedness. I didn't spend enough time ahead of time. Literally had one day to set my bow up, get a sight tape and double check it. Yeah, 
So in my sight picture, so 3D is the most super important part is actually what you can see because you're trying to trying to aim for these little rings down on the target that you can't really see super well. So we use um, clarifiers, scopes with magnifications, and then big thing with like this is the all new UV3. So one thing about it, it's the center drilled fiber. Um, so there's no pins or anything. It's just like a little tiny glowing green dot. That green dot for me is a little too big. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna snip, snip my ends with these scissors a little bit. Hopefully I don't jack all this up right now. Day two and the final day of ASA fully. Day two, we start super early. We have to start shooting at 7.30. Uh, we're at the Airbnb right now. And we got about 25 minute drive, so we wake up pretty early, but we're about to roll out. And uh, it's gonna be a little foggy this morning. It's a little foggy, it looks like, a little colder. Um, but should be good. Final day, ASA. Let's see how it goes. shooting practice got three arrows a little low a little left but we got to run it we got 20-ish minutes till we shoot so we got to walk back in the woods and find our spot find our target go from there so at the end of day one I was sitting at eight up <laughs> which is not which is not ideal for sure so going into day two it was like uh, a miracle was gonna have to happen to even make it up into the top guys Just finished first target. It's uh, super foggy, so people's rangefinders aren't working. But uh, first target was a 48 yard Wolverine. It's like one of the hardest targets for the Wolverine. Is. Um, but now we got an easier one, big one on. So it's good, it's warming up, it's getting lighter. It should be a good day, it shouldn't be as windy today. Yesterday was pretty windy. So. <laughs> See what happens. <laughs> The ultimate goal of an ASA in the Pro Divisions is to make the shoot off, which is the top five archers by the end of day two. And typically, it takes about 16, 18 up per day. And when we mean up, that's above even or above par. Shooting all tens at every single target would be a zero or at par. Every time you shoot a 12, you add two points to that score so you're looking at 30 40 f even 50 up for the weekend to get you into the shoot off Start it up.
sucky part is I was sh shooting really good. Like all my shots felt good. It's just my fiber and then today on the first three targets I was seven inches low left for no reason. I did shoot at the badge, remember I said I was a little low left, we we're gonna run it. I should have <laughs> not just ran it. It's just all little things that if I shot for a week straight prior to this tournament, I would have figured out. So first day of say of the year's done and definitely have a lot of takeaways from this. Got a lot of things I need to work on, a couple things I need to fix, um, but it definitely gets me very excited for the next one.